Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It looks like we're in quite the pickle here. So as you can see, you can't really move around much. It even messes with the physics a little bit there. It's kind of weird looking. But anyway, after you walk around for a certain amount of time, a cutscene will happen. Oh my. Don't hurt me. Wait, you did? We've never met before. Why, why would you be looking for me? Snarly teased. And then... A complete mood whiplash. Because this imp is about to help us, so he's like, mmm! <laughs> Sweet! Oh! Just popping on in all over the place. Sounds good. Uh, the controls for <laughs> the control for uh, Wolf Link here is pretty much the same as Link. You can look around with the C button, lock onto things with the Z button, break things by swinging your sword. I mean, biting at them. In, in this case, it's biting at the air because there's not really anything here. And you can Z target, talk to her. Yeah, I already kind of uncovered that, didn't I? <laughs> but anyway, you can press down at certain spots to dig, like so. And this is down on the uh, D-pad, of course, not the control stick. Control stick is what moves you around and whatnot. You should know that by now, I mean... <laughs> you've already been playing for like an hour or so. At least I hope you've been. <laughs> hey, I take, in, in, I take offense to that. And, oh... I love that little pose there, it's like, Arr! It's kind of a cute scene, despite the dark nature of this area. So basically, up on the D-pad is essentially your... Dare I say it? Navi. Yeah, she'll give you little hints at certain points if, in, if you need them, and... Yeah, but it's not nearly as intrusive as, as Navi. You cannot go through this door whatsoever. I'm just hitting that door for the heck of it. You actually want to go through here. Z target this, and actually I'll, I'll let her talk about this. Okay. <laughs> so she hinted at me to grab onto that with the A button. Well, Z target then A button so he can jump and bite onto it. Anyway, moving on. Narrow corridors leads to a weird flame. What is this flame? Yes, I do. So as you see, if you press left or right, you can use your senses to see what certain things are. There's little indications here and there about these kinds of things. But anyway, let's listen to this ghostly soldier. Got anything else to say? No, okay. Let's move on. A spirit, huh? Other world? Something tells me we may be in deep doo doo. Anyway, these things right. Pfft, these things right down here are called shadow vermin. They're like rats. 
Uh, in fact, they're, they're probably the shadow version of rats, actually. Um, you can grip onto other rings that are attached to chains and stuff like that throughout this entire area. Uh, you can also break skulls, which is kind of morbid, but they sometimes have treasures inside of them, so I recommend you do so. Anyway, I'm going to grab onto that to open that, because maybe there's some goodies in here. I still want 100 rupees, and you're going to tell me what a blue rupee is again, really? Why? <laughs> Fine then. Anyway, moving on this way is another slight cutscene. And she's basically telling me telling you what I told you in the cell about how that the controls are pretty much the same as Wolf Link as they were before. Anyway, just take her care of the shadow vermin. And grab onto this. Which opens this. Or be something good, not just shadow vermin. I guess a heart is all right since I kind of flopped at the beginning there, <laughs> but whatever. Um, there is this, which will open the floodgates. Needless to say, we are in some sort of sewer area. And yes, yes, we have to do this to progress. If we were to try and walk across those spikes over there, that just wouldn't work all that well. Now we can swim across them. Very nice. But there's a little more to do over here, I suppose. Uh, I don't need that heart, so I'm just gonna leave it. And oh! Surprise attack! <laughs> so cheap! Actually, that didn't cost me that much in life, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not like it was a one hit kill or anything like that. Um, you can also dash in the water by pressing the A button as well as on land. Uh, can I attack you in the water? That would be very nice. Mm. I just wanted to try that, because I never really tried that before. I always fought fought critters on land, so it just seemed more productive to me. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a very good idea. Anyway, another spirit is over here. They're called Shadow Vermin. Haven't you been watching the video? That's kind of insulting, actually. I put all this work into the video, and you don't listen to me at all. <sighs> Hey, wait, no, no, I don't want to lock onto that. I want to lock onto that. <laughs> Keep locking onto the wrong things. This is kind of dumb, actually. <laughs> Let me out, and... There, anyway, I just wanted that heart, actually. I am flailing all over the place. Uh, the, the wolf does control a little more freely than Link used to. So be wary of that. I, I guess I gotta get used to that a little bit. But I'm playing ex exceptionally sloppy, but that's all right. <laughs> it's probably entertaining you regardless. There's a crate here. Ah. Yeah, it's got a rupee. I'm at 83 out of 100. Getting close. Getting close. Uh, over here is yet another soldier. I actually have to drain the water again, so I'm gonna have to go down that road and then back over to... Back over to the right. No comment for that. There's really nothing in there. <laughs> Whatever. Another spirit. He's in a fetal position. Okay, not quite, but still he's cowering. Yeah, these are pretty spooky critters. And I should not be having any trouble with them whatsoever. But I'm playing, as I said, extremely sloppy. Just deal with them just as you would deal with rats, and, and you should be fine. Even though these are tighter quarters than what you might be used to up to this point, it still shouldn't be this much trouble. I mean, shouldn't give you this much trouble. And where are you going? And this is why you have to drain the water. You'll see in just a second. Uh, actually, is there anything else to show over here? I don't think there is. Once you leave this area, you can never come back to it, so that's why I want to show as much of it as, as I possibly can. Oh, I'm just supposed to press enter here. Yeah, you can't go up through here unless you drain the water, and there you go. And you'll also notice that when you're in your sensing mode, you'll notice that there's sparkles on the ground at certain places. Like, you see that? Don't notice any difference with the senses off like that. If you put them on, you can see it, and then you can dig for certain spots. In this case, there's a blue rupee there. Anything over here? No. Okay. What do you have to say? Clearly, you should not be a soldier. <laughs> and that's all you have to do. Oh, here. No! I, I had everything set up ahead of time, dang it. <laughs> you 
Yes. Let's go. Arr. So now we got a new area here. It is a vertical climbing area. This is pretty fun. It can be a tad tedious, though. Uh, once you get over to here... Jump! Oh, it fell. Yeah. Took care of that critter. No drops. That's too bad. Uh, I guess I don't really need anything other than rupees anyway. Now, when you go back up here, she's going to be like, Talk to me, baby! Now watch this. She's, she's going to teach you a new move now. Target with Z and follow with A. Time your A button presses with the sound effects. Like that. And you can now cross certain gaps that require this for really odd move. <laughs> for some reason you can't do this on your own, but you can do it with her. I, yeah, I don't quite understand that myself, but there you go. <laughs> and go down here. This this is a dead end, but there are there might be some rupees along this area. You die. And well, there's a rupee here. As I said, I'm still looking for the elusive 100 rupee <laughs> prize. I'm at 95. I'm sure I'll have 100 by the time I get back to the forest later. And let's go back up. Die! See, these things are not hard at all. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with them earlier. <laughs> That's what I get when I commentate while playing. Whoa, 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 don't fall off. I only wanted to attack those skulls once. And by the way, it's very hard to fall off those things unless you get like unless you get like knocked off them by an enemy or something like that. Just keep moving forward and you will not fall off those things at all. And we've reached the top already. These are shadow keys. Yeah, the shadow versions of those bats. Very simple. You just attack them the same way you would do with the normal keys. Anything in the crates. And you know, it's funny, you couldn't tell it was raining if you looked out the window of your cell, but you can tell that it is raining over here. Sounds good to me. Anyway, you go over here. And... Nope! Well, actually I do, but I'm not spoiling it. <laughs> Voila! Yeah, check that out for yourself. Look out the cell window, you know, when you're first in this area and you're in, you're trapped inside the cell and you're chained up and stuff like that. Look out the window, you will not be able to see it raining, even though it's actually raining right now, as you can see. It's kind of weird, and you can actually hear it raining in the cell as well. So, hmm. Yep. Uh... Yes. <laughs> okay, dokie. Let's move on. And we're going to be meeting some new enemies shortly, but in the meantime, do not fall off. Down is death. If you've been watching my walkthroughs for a while, you should know that by now. And I was just using my senses to... You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Those are the new enemies that I'll be talking to. Uh, I mean, talking to that I'll be attacking later. And this is where we are. Hyrule Castle. Yep. Anyway, grab on... I said... Grab onto this. Do not push forward as you're, I mean, uh, as you're going to grab onto the crate by pressing A. It, well, what, I, what I mean by grab onto it is because you have to have like a hold onto it before you press forward. Uh, you'll get the idea once you try it yourself. Anyway, down here, this is the bird that he was talking about. I believe they are called Shadow Kara Rocks or something like that. And you just attack them by Z targeting and then pressing the A button to jump attack them like that. Don't jump attack yourself off the edge, that would be a little bit painful. Just saying. <laughs> I don't... You actually won't die in one hit if you were to fall off the edge. It just costs you a little bit of life. 
the game is pretty forgiving in that uh, manner. And I would like to get to some better footing here so I have more room to move. These are some really creepy enemies, by the way. <laughs> anyway, you go over to the edge here. You know what to do. Yup. And move on. I these skulls are not are not glowing with bloom. <laughs> and those rupees do not fall through the holes. That is really weird, isn't it? And you can climb on through the roof I mean to the rooftops without any trouble whatsoever. You have very good claw grips. <laughs> I'm just exploring the area just to show you around. I, I can actually just leave this area right away by going through the window to my left, but I'd like to show the place off as much as I can. As I said before, once I leave this place, I could never come back! Hey, uh, that was weird. <laughs> hey, why did I bother, bother to get that heart anyway? Uh, anyway, let's go through here, see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. Uh, that 8-bit music that you hear in the... Uh, indicates that you are in danger of attack in this world. Nice touch, I have to say. So it's sort of like when, uh, in usual, when an enemy is near you, danger music, except it's different in this world, makes it 8-bit sounds. Anyway, this is the place that I was saying that we could have gone to earlier, but I just wanted to show off the place. Going to your right, there is absolutely nothing you can do, just like before. There is an impenetrable door, so why did I show that? Because I can! <laughs> so, crates over here if you need some health. Uh, go through here. Look around the room if you'd like to. This fire... It hurts you. Who would have guessed? <laughs> I just like to show everything like that just to make you laugh. Who's this mysterious cloaked figure? And suddenly things have turned around. <laughs> it seems our... What? What did you just say? Yeah, that imp that is riding on our back is, is called Midna. That is her name. Anyway, you'll notice that once Link seen that uh, uh, the cloaked figure here was a girl, he was like, mmm! <laughs> yeah. Although I might use this as a bracelet now, it's kind of stylish. Yeah, I would like to hear about that. <laughs> what? I will. Once the kingdom of Hyrule? What happened? Tell me! Hyrule Castle song music, uh, song remix. You know, the one from Link to the Past. Well, they clearly don't stand the chance.
I really don't think they have much of a choice here. Yeah. I'm with her on that one. At least for now. Oh, poop. Oh. Yep, that's what happened. The world that we are in right now is known as the Twilight. That means she is... Zelda! Yep. Well, I do admit this place looks pretty awesome. <laughs> But this doesn't seem a very livable for us humans. Uh oh. Time to skedaddle. Will do. But, do you have anything else to say first? Is that it, really? Well, okay. <laughs> well, let's play on the bed. Woo! Oh, okay, let's... We, we, we really gotta get going, don't we? Anyway, these crates, for some reason, come back after that cutscene. It doesn't really make much sense, but there you go. Walk down the stairs, and... Uh oh Out the window, out the window! I explained it. Awesome. Like who? Yep, them. Kinky. Oh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Back outside of the twilight. Uh... 
What? Well, I guess we're going to have to find out why that is in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.